Hey, it's uh, John Reed, JDOD.com, SAP Startup Video Series. We are live with the Hana Startup here at Sensatel, and I'm with the uh, visionary behind this whole thing, huh? The brains of the operation, Ray, Ray Sika, how you doing? Thank you. Yeah. We are well. Thanks for visiting us. Yeah, absolutely. And we have a nice view of the mountains outside. And let's talk a little bit about, uh, you, you were telling me about how uh, sensors are changing the world, and I think every sort of good founder CEO has a vision. So what's your vision there? Sure, thank you. Yeah, we are Sensital, and we stand for what are your sensors telling you? So we believe we are at this point in the technology industry where sensors are going to change our life. So we'll have streaming data from, uh, from automobiles, streaming data from uh, mobile devices, data from machines, data from healthcare devices, all being used for predicting actions and predicting outcomes which can improve your life. So that's what we are enabling with SAP HANA. Right, so tell me about how HANA uh, fits into this picture. What, what does HANA allow you to do that you couldn't do before you found out about HANA? Sure, the thing about sensors is it's all about generating context with sensors. So the door opened is the event. Somebody walked in, they switched on their phone, that's another event. But putting all that together is where the prediction and the outcomes can be made better, right? So, if, and we have to do it in real time. And uh, that's where HANA comes in. Now we had other tools uh, which would take four hours, five hours to churn through a lot of event data and predict some next immediate required output, but with HANA, we can do it in real time. So that is where I think the HANA sweet spot, which matched with our requirement, where we are taking sensor data, we are not subjecting uh, the world to the law of averages. You could be you know, uh, right on average and wrong 100% of the time. What we are doing is we are taking actual events, actual data, looking at the variations, and then making decisions in real time, making better decisions fast using HANA. Mm. Now, one of the questions about HANA is, it's just cool, sexy tech, but how does it actually solve a real problem? And I want to go back to you had an experience. I don't know if you want to pick on a particular retailer, but you were in a retailer, and you noticed that there were uh, a number of sure. folks hanging yeah. out in the, in the tire section. Tell us yeah. about what that was going on. Right. So the solution uh, we came up with uh, is uh, first solution with, uh, with HANA is called Staffcaster. And the motivation behind that was I was visiting a, a retail store, a big box, right? Uh, and they have many boxes around the country. And uh, I was waiting in the, retail, in the electronic section, uh, waiting to check out some uh, micro devices. And I see these four or five people out there in the tire section. Now the employees are out there, the consumer is out here in electronics, and there is a mismatch. I kept waiting for 15 minutes, finally right. I had to walk up walk. to the front line, and you know, the retail loses 8% of uh, sales due to out of stock, which is $60 billion for retail. And uh, you know, staffing, I've been in situations mm -hmm. like that where I just walked out the door, you know what I mean? I, I tell you, I don't blame you because you need the answer. I cannot bring a wrong product. I need to interact with that person on the floor. Right. And uh, retail has point of sale data, but they do not know what consumers are doing once they walk in. Now with our solution, uh, with HANA, what we're doing is we take real time streaming information from all interactions and we bring it together with the uh, staffing levels for different zones. So we can give you a hard zone, okay, so you need, in next four hours, you're going to have more traffic in this particular section of the store and you deploy your resources accordingly. So this is a cloud-based solution that a manager could use to basically make adjustments on the fly in terms of allocating staff within, say, a retail environment. Yes, so retail is a, is a great example. Uh, manager will have a better relation with their, their employees because they will be satisfying the employees' constraints as well. Similarly, you can imagine uh, scheduling of nurses across multiple floors in a hospital, uh, scheduling of uh, transportation drivers, uh, delivery people uh, in, in different routes across the city. So we see there is a mismatch all over, and that is cause of waste. Uh, that is cause, uh, cause of angst, that is cause of lost opportunities. And that is where the new technology through mobility, through sensing, through analytic, through prediction is going to make a difference.